Welcome to Buzz Around the Globe. The biggest victims of this war between Israel and Hamas are the children on both sides. According to the latest figures by UNICEF, over the past 18 days, the Gaza Strip has borne witness to a devastating toll on its children. More than 2,000 children have died, and a more than 5,000 have reported injuries due to unrelenting attacks. More than 400 children are reportedly either killed or injured daily. Additionally, more than 30 Israeli children reportedly have lost their lives, and dozens remain in captivity within the Gaza Strip. The 18-day period is the deadliest escalation of hostilities in the Gaza Strip in Israel that the UN has witnessed since 2006. In fact, almost every child in the Gaza Strip has been exposed to deeply distressing events and trauma, marked by widespread destruction, relentless attacks, displacement, and severe shortages of essential necessities such as food, water, and medicine. The entire population of the Gaza Strip, comprising nearly 2.3 million people, is facing a dire and pressing lack of water, food, medical supplies, which poses grave consequences for children, roughly 50% of the population. Meanwhile, Israel is not willing to back down. Although it has delayed its planned ground offensive, it is still carrying out targeted strikes. The United Nations issued a stark warning Thursday that nowhere is safe in Gaza amid stepped-up Israeli air raids in preparation for a widely expected ground offensive. With Israel retaliating after Hamas's shock October 7th attacks, with strikes on nearly every part of the Palestinian enclave, people are left with nothing but impossible choices. Nowhere is safe in Gaza, said the UN humanitarian coordinator for the occupied Palestinian territory in a statement. Israel said Thursday that a column of tanks and infantry had launched an overnight raid into Hamas-controlled Gaza, striking numerous targets before retreating to home soil. The military announced the incursion into the north of the Palestinian territory hours after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared preparations for a ground war were underway. The Israel Defense Forces described the operation as a targeted raid that hit numerous terrorist cells, infrastructure, and anti-tank missile launch posts. It said the operation was preparation for the next stages of combat, adding that the soldiers have since exited the area and returned to Israeli territory. Black and white video footage posted by the military showed a column of armored vehicles and bulldozers winding toward what appeared to be a border fence and breaking through it. Just hours earlier, Netanyahu had delivered a nationally televised address to Israelis, still grieving and furious after Hamas's bloody October 7th attacks, telling them, we are in the midst of a campaign for our existence. Israel has retaliated with heavy bombing that Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry said has killed more than 6,500, with the toll expected to rise substantially if tens of thousands of Israeli troops massed near Gaza move in. Do tell us what you think about this video in comments section, and for more news updates, subscribe to India today.